this is Teacher Judy. Welcome to our virtual class. This time, we're going to talk about the different text types. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Let us take a look at the recipe of pinakbet. Let us read the selection all together. Northern Philippine Cuisine Pinakbet or pakbet is an Ilocano stewed vegetable dish. The usual vegetables included in the dish are eggplant, bitter gourd or ampalaya, okra, and tomatoes. The dish is seasoned with bagoong isda or fermented fish paste. The Ilocanos cook pinakbet simply by layering the vegetables in a pot with a little amount of water and fish sauce in it. They set the pot on a low fire and let the food simmer without stirring or mixing until the vegetables are cooked. These days, many people come up with different versions. Here is one way of cooking it. The utensils are pan, bowl, knife, ladle, chopping board, and tablespoon or teaspoon. The ingredients are 2 pieces ampalaya cut into 2 inches length. 2 pieces eggplant cut into 2 inches length wedges. 6 to 8 pieces okra tops trimmed off or cut diagonally. 2 pieces tomatoes cut in wedges. Pork slices. 1 medium onion chopped. And 1 tablespoon bagoong isda or salted fish sauce. The cooking time is 25 minutes. Procedure Sauté the garlic, onions, and tomatoes in the oil. Add the pork slices and sauté for a minute. Turn the heat down and layer the vegetables from the bottom of the pan in this order. Ampalaya, okra, and eggplant. Add the broth and bagoong. Cover, let boil, then simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until the vegetables are cooked but still firm. Stir in the fish or shrimp. Season with ground pepper. Serve with rice. Now let's answer these questions. What can you say about pinakbet? What region does this recipe come from? The answers are found in this paragraph. The paragraph gives us some information about pinakbet. This text is called an informational text. Next question. What does the recipe tell us to do? Here is the procedure. Stated in the procedure are the steps on how to cook pinakbet. This type of text is a procedural text. Let's proceed with the next question. What are the ingredients and utensils needed in cooking pinakbet? This is the part where we can find the answers. A list of ingredients and utensils is an example of a text that enumerates. From our answers, we can say that there are different types of texts. The first type of text is the text to give information about the topic, which is called informational texts. Examples are news articles, travelogues, feature article, 
content area materials like mathematics, science, and etc. There are some texts that tell procedure, directions, or steps on how to do something. These are procedural texts. Examples are recipes, steps in solving word problems, dance steps, and etc. The third type of text is the text that show a list which is called text set enumerate. Examples can be list of names, ingredients, and many other lists. Now that we know the type of text, let us try answering this simple activity. You just have to read each selection and identify the text type shown. Your time starts now!
here are the key answers. For number one, procedural text. Number two, text that enumerates. And lastly, for number three, informational text. You can always go back to the part where you got wrong. Congratulations for doing your best. Until next time, thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos.